In this video, I'll be using our Sharp EL531XT calculator to calculate some combinations, permutations, and factorials. All of the functions that we'll be using here, you can see on the, on the calculator above the numbers 4, 5, and 6. You can see the factorial function, the combination function, and the permutation function. All three of these functions we get at by using the second function button on our calculator. So for the first part, we would like to know what is 7 factorial, and I would enter 7, second function 4, that's where the factorial function is. We can see in the display window 7 with an exclamation mark, so we have 7 factorial, and when I hit equals, it tells me 5,040. So the number of ways to arrange 7 distinct objects, 5,040. For permutations, the permutation function is on our calculator just above the number 6. You can see NPR. Remember that we have two different ways of writing it. We could write it as 9P2 or P92. These both mean the same thing. They both mean taking nine distinct objects, selecting and arranging two out of the nine objects. So if we'd like to know how many ways there are to do that, if we had nine friends, we want to pick two of them and then line them up for a photograph, the number of ways we could do that would be nine, second function, six, and then two. You can see in the display window here, there's a P, the permutation function has been used, so nine P2, and the answer to that is 72. So if we had nine friends and we wanted to select and arrange two of them, that could be done in 72 ways. And then finally, combinations. This is us making just a selection, not doing any arranging. We're looking for here C73, the number of ways for us to select three things out of a group of seven distinct objects. That could be written as C73 or 7C3 or 7 choosing 3. All of those are exactly the same in meaning. They all mean seven distinct objects selecting three of them. And we find that by 7 second function 5. I'm using the number 5 because you can see that's the combination function right above the number 5. 7 second function 5, 3. And you can see the C in the display window. That's 7C3. We hit equals and the answer is 35. So if you had 7 books and you wanted to select 3 of them, that could be done in 35 ways.